Does blue side win more than red side in League of Legends? It's a question that has plagued the Riot team for as early as 2010. Back then, blue would win around 4% more games than purple, which is now red. A statistic that's been pretty constant throughout the years. Wait, what? People have a higher chance to win just because they get blue side in League of Legends game? Yep. But this must be a problem at low in low only, right? Not exactly. The blue side will win around 4 in every 7 game, whereas the red side will only win 3. Haven't Riot fixed it? They have tried, but they haven't succeeded. Riot have tweaked the camera angle on the red side, adjusted red side to have a higher MMR, given red side the advantage in pick and ban, and some players even claim the red side minions are naturally stronger. So what's going on? What's causing this problem and how can Riot fix it? To help understand the issue, let's look at some statistics. Here's an infographic from July 2017 to clearly show the advantage blue side has over the red side in a game of League of Legends. We've already established that the League of Legends blue side has an unfair advantage, but why? Blue side gets slightly more dragons and more rift heralds. This is important because these are both early game objectives that impact the rest of the game. Rift Herald can help you get that first tower, and Dragon buffs are strong buffs that remain for the rest of the game. Red side gets more Barons. You might think Baron has a larger impact on the game, but you're wrong. Red side receives slightly more Baron buffs, but the issue is, it's very rare for a team to take the Baron when they are behind. The early game has a huge impact and by the time Baron spawns, the game could already have been lost. This really cements the advantage that blue has over the dragon in the early game. Yeah, in any League of Legends game, the blue side has a higher chance of winning after any given objective than the red side. It's a bold statement, but it's backed up by statistics. In fact, the last time the red side had a slightly higher win rate than the blue side was June 2016 and it only lasted for one pack. So what's going on? Why does blue side have an advantage in League of Legends? The layout of the rift. Anyone who has played League of Legends will be aware of the blue side is not the same as the red side. The map is mirror. This means that the map has no symmetry axis at any point. Here's an image of the rift. You'll notice that objectives like buffs or epic monsters are flipped along the diagonal axis. This has an impact because it gives the blue jungler easier access to the dragon during the early game. It's easier for them to ward the pit, it's easier for them to make a steal, and thanks to the bot lane tribush, it's easier for them to control the river. But wait, what about the rift herald? Surely these advantages are the same for the red side. Well, I hear you crying, but well, it's different because the rift herald is at the top side of the map. Count the number of players on the bottom half of the map. Now, count the number on the top. You'll find they are different. This changes the dynamic of this area and makes it much easier to either sneak this objective or force a fight around it with only three people. This makes a 5v5 team fight much less likely and the location of the blue side jungle ramp gives them an easy escape from any lost skirmishes around this objective. Finally, the Baron. It's true that the red side does have an advantage over this objective, but by late game this advantage has mostly gone. The loss of control of their own jungle as well as the likelihood of one team being behind makes this late game advantage inferior. Now moving on to blue side champions. There's also the argument that certain champions will perform better on the blue side due to the terrain difference. It's harder to gank push top lane when you're jungling on the red side because you'll have to go into the enemy jungle. You can see this advantage in champions that are happy to freeze their lane in a safe position and farm. Champions like Naces have a 5% higher win rate on the blue side than the red. There's also the jungle clear. If you want to start on the red buff and you're on the blue team, then you'll get a pull from your support and AD carry. If you're going to start red buff on the red side, then you'll only get help from your top and maybe the mid if they're feeling nice. This completely changes the timing on the jungle camps, but players could play around this, right? Well, sort of. Warding and smart ganks will remove a lot of the terrain advantage and river control will give the red side a better chance of controlling the dragon, but some junglers will always perform better on the blue side no matter how hard you try. But these advantages seem small. There's a chance the blue side win rate could be maybe 51%, but at its peak, it's been as high as 54%. There has to be something else. So let's talk about pick orders. Ah, the pick and ban. More than just a smaller Twitch chat. This is a place where you can win or lose a game. 
Unfortunately, many players aren't aware it's fully possible to win the game outright through the pick and ban stage. But red side can counter pick every champion. That's true. But blue side can also pick the first champ. This is an advantage for certain patches, such as the world's patch in 2015, where Gangplag and Mordekaiser saw action in almost every game. But patches like this are few and far between. In general, the red team will have an advantage in the pick and ban phase. It's one of the few times it's better to be on the red team than the blue. This is one method Riot have used to try to counter the blue side advantage on the Rift. Unfortunately, especially at low elo, most players are unaware of how to use this advantage effectively to overcome the biggest disadvantage the red side faces, the League of Legends character camera. So let's talk about the camera a little bit. The League of Legends camera isn't exactly a rectangle. It's a trapezium. This means you'll see more at the top of your screen than the bottom. To put it bluntly, you'll have more space at the top of the screen than the bottom. This isn't even mentioning the fact that the UI will block a portion of the bottom of your screen. So when you consider in League of Legends the blue side is facing up, this gives them a significant advantage. The blue side in League of Legends will see more than the red side. Damn, that's a big advantage. But how do we know that the camera angle is significant? Let's eliminate everything else. Let's take a look at one for all mirror mode. The one for all mirror mode was a game mode on the Howling Abyss where all 10 players would be the same champion. It had no dragon or baron, no pick and ban, and completely mirrored map. This meant the only difference between the two teams were player skill and camera angle. Here's what was found. If we use a large enough sample size, we can eliminate player skill, which leaves us with an excellent study of the effect of the camera on red versus blue. Across approximately 3,500 games, blue side won 1,946 games, blue side lost 1,505 games. This gives the League of Legends blue side a win rate of 56.4%. Is this significant? Perhaps. It probably confirms that the camera angle has an impact. We just can't quantify it. So comment down below what you think about the blue side advantages and if you really notice it in your games. This will conclude today's video. Subscribe to the channel for more content. See you in the next video. Proof signing out.